Hey everyone, welcome back to the B-side. We are back in Valheim. Today we're going to talk about Spiral Staircases. Now, we're going to talk about the new Spiral Staircase that was released with Mistlands. I know that not everybody is having access to that because of the public testing, but once you do, I think you will find these designs really interesting for your own builds. I have three designs here behind me that I want to share with you how to build them. And we're going to jump in them right now. All right, let's start with the first pillar here. There's going to be the simple one. We already placed a marble column in the center here because that's going to be our foundation. And on the top of that, we're going to take a stair and we're going to snap it right on the top right here. All right. Now, you will already have to take into account that where you want to start your stair, you will have to rotate it 90 degrees away from that like that. So because we're going to be snapping a second stair below it, later on which is gonna then follow the line we want to all right so you can see this is perfectly snapped on the center of this column we're gonna go to our building parts and we're gonna take one of these black marble connections now you can use other parts as well you can use the small stone wall but i kind of prefer to use the black marble it is a little bit cleaner as in our looking so it's gonna allow us to have a much cleaner look on how everything is snapping so we're gonna snap this cube against this pillar on the corner here so you can see there's the two corners snapping on top of each other. So now we're going to snap another cube on top of that, like that. And now we're going to take the uh, stone pillar again, the column, and we're going to connect it right there in the corner. So you can see it's actually snapping perfectly now on top of each other. Now you will be able to move this up and down a bit, as you can see. If I move it up and I place it, you will see there will be a little uh, connection. You see there's like a gap, which is, it's not a gap, it's just like a little decoration. Now, if you delete this and uh, we take the marble column again and we snap it again in this corner, I'm going to move it so you have the up part like that. We're going to move it down so it actually connects. You will see that this now is one piece. You don't see that gap, which makes the very nice looking pillar like that. All right, so I'm going to delete the bottom one right now. We're going to go back to our spiral stair and we're going to snap it below it. And it's going to snap until it perfectly lines up with our stair. So that, not that, not that like this. We need to go there like that. Now you can see this stair is perfectly lined up with the other one. All right. So now we can go back to our black marble. We can go back here and we can snap it right here. Now you can see I'm having this gap again. So we could lift it up like that. Now you can see we have a nice marble pillar. I'm going to delete this one and this one and we're going to continue now our stairs first. So I'm going to take the stairs, we're going to go on top here and we're going to place it. And let's just build a whole bunch of stairs until we are happy with the height. All right, let's say that is the pillar we want to go. I'm not sure if this was the intention. The snap points of the wood is never nice. There's always weird jumps and gaps. So it's nice to just hide it with another pillar around it. But you can see the stairs itself is properly snapped. It's just the look there is not proper. All right, so now we're going to snap another cube against that. We're going to snap it right here as we would be snapping the other ones. We need to snap it against that corner and I'm going to try to snap it right at the right position. So I'm going to try to bring it down, make sure that it snaps on the bottom part. We don't want to be there. We want to be on the bottom and then we're going to snap another one on top. That should normally hold up long enough as it is connected to this pillar here. So now we can go back to our... Um, black marble column we're going to snap it in that corner and just again make sure that we uh, want to have the design we want to so i'm going to move it down so it makes one smooth pillar and we're going to delete these now again now we should be able to snap another cube against that now here like that so this is perfectly snapped so another one goes on top and we take another marble column Connect it to that corner, drop it down like that. So again, we get, see how nice this is? This is this one nice marble pillar. Let's continue doing that now until we're on the top. All right, that's it. This is how you make yourself a pillar. Looks very nice covering the wood inside. 
and I do like how the uh, marble is one nice piece. But this is only one of the three designs I want to show you today, so let's go ahead and start the next one. So for the second design, we start again with the marble column. Now we're going to be using the dark wood. You can use whatever you want to. If you want to use cold wood, for example, you can. But let us just select the dark wood. And as you can see, we're going to be able to snap these on the corners of that column. So I'm going to place one here. 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 And then we're also going to turn this 45 degrees so that it's like that. And we're going to snap these in between. And they're going to snap against that column in the back. All right. So now we have a nice column, as you can see right here. We're going to break the one in the center here away for a second. Because what I want to do, we want to start and snap a stair on that. So we're going to use the same stair. We're going to make the same column. So we're going to take that one and we're going to place one here. Right on top of that stone. We're going to snap another one on top, if I can. It could be that you don't see enough, but let's see if we can rotate this. So this is 90 degrees. There we go. All right. So next one, we can do another one here. We rotate it again. There we go. So now we have a nice spiral staircase going up. Now, before we uh, break this, we're going to put the pillar back. There. We're going to go up. And we're going to snap a few more on top before we uh, remove. Let's put that one there. That one there. 45 degree. One there. One there. One there. And then that one here. There we go. Now we can delete one in the center here. Because that is going to allow us to snap it back. Because now I'm going to break this column in the back. And uh, we're going to snap our stair back and we're going to place it right underneath there like this. Now you can see this is going to connect properly on there. And now we can just place our beam back. Which is now going to allow us to build a very nice spiral staircase with a very nice pillar in the center as well. Now we can go up and uh, we can break this one here. Or we can break this one like that. Take another stair. Snap it on that corner there, like that, and then just snap this one back. There we go. So now we have a very nice spiral staircase with a very nice pillar as well in the center. And um, I'm I'm this I'm thinking of using this for uh, creating a roof in uh, one of my future builds. I think this is definitely very nice if you would be using that in a large build where the. Uh, roof is held up with these kind of pillars uh, I think that would look very very cool can definitely see already the uh, the design where it would fit into but this is a very cool design I really like this one columns really are a handy tool to create this kind of design all right, the last one I want to do is actually built around a tree. So for that, we're going to have to build a pine tree. I'm using a pine tree because that seems to be the cleanest. If you look at the trunk, you can see that the, there is way more space. There's way more room to build around. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a um, short beam here. We're going to snap this in here like that. So that we find that perfect center. We want to build a tree right here. So let's take the cultivator. Let's take our pine tree. And we're going to build that pine tree right, like, perfectly centered on that wood, I guess. You can see this is perfectly centered. So now we're going to break that piece of wood and we'll just wait. It could be that we won't have to break some more stone away. Because it could be, yeah, all right. So let's break the stone away. Let's see if that is okay. There we go. So now we just wait for the tree to grow. Once the tree is grown, we can build the floor back in. So let's uh, give it some time. So it will take about two days for the tree is grown, two or three days. But once the tree is grown, you should be able to just uh, close this off now. The tree is now built, so this won't... Now what we, whatever we do won't affect the tree anymore. At least, you know, don't chop it. But that's the only thing that would affect the tree. 
uh, you can now build the stone around it and it won't cause any issues. We're going to close off the floor as well. So the tree is going to be inside the stone floor. And now we're going to snap a wall here. We're going to snap a full wall against here. We're going to snap a half wall here again. And another full wall here. And then we can snap a full wall on this and we can snap a full wall on that and then we can continue from there but for the moment that's gonna be it now the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna be building a like a platform around this so we can just easily reach the heights so i'm gonna build a um, floor there we're gonna snap a stair against that like this i'm gonna snap one there I think we might have to just snap some floors against this, like this. There we go. So this should be enough to uh, get there. We can go higher if you want to as well. Depends a bit on how high you want to go with your stairs, but uh, we just start from here. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to snap a small little floor here. We're going to connect some floors through that. So if you remember my other guides, I'm using the floor on top to allow me to snap below it. All right, now we're going to take a chair. Let's go to our furniture. If you have any chair, you can use the uh, stool as well, but it is a little bit more challenging. So I would go for a, a chair like this or like this. We're going to rotate the chair and we're going to try to get this as deep as possible in the wood of the tree. I think we're going to have to be happy with this. Now we're going to delete this floor. There we go. Now it, I'm going to be able to sit on this chair and I'm going to be merging inside the tree. Now, if you would use a, an oak tree, for example, you will be able to see more. You will actually be able to stand in the tree. The pine tree is a little bit too narrow to get inside the tree, so it's going to push you out. So you're going to have to do this building uh, a little bit quick. Um, if it doesn't work, you have to just jump back in the tree and keep on doing it every level. But you will see what I mean once I'm doing that. Um, so let's just, uh, first of all, let's go to our stairs. Let's take this one. We're going to start with the stair there. We're going to snap one right there. So it's going to snap against this. These are like more of a guidelines. These and these and these are going to help you to just snap it perfectly. But uh, let's just go into the, the chair here. Let's uh, hide our hammer for a second. Sit on the chair. You can see now I'm looking at the tree. I'm going to open my hammer. I'm going to stand up and now you can see I am inside the tree. But you see the tree is pushing me out again. So I'm going to have to do this either quickly or just several times. So just sit on the chair. And just rotate and just snap these. Right, that's the highest we can go so now we can delete this chair for the check for a second now if you want you can go higher you just build a higher platform um, but that is how you can build yourself a uh, spiral staircase you can see the spiral staircase is perfectly inside the tree which looks really nice so let's just go a little bit higher so it has that real uh, treehouse feel so we have a nice spiral staircase we can now delete everything around it Let's delete that. There we go. Look at that. A very nice spiral staircase around a tree, which is, I think, a great design if you want to do like a tree hut or whatever. So let's delete that one as well. You can easily, you know, build something here, go up in the trees and actually have a very nice access point to your tree. I think this is a really nice design. I'm pretty sure Christy would do some great things with that. Anyway, that's going to be it. This is how you build yourself several spiral staircases. Great designs you can use in whatever build you want to do. I hope this was a fun and interesting tutorial. Gave you a little bit of an idea of what you can do with the new spiral staircases. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining. And I will see you again next time. This is Beelbum. Goodbye for now.